was only upon my arrival at the Geneva airport that I realized it was over. And if I had to do it again, well, I don't think I would. Very big walk for me today um, and uh, start working early this morning. It's very good looking from here. There is part I didn't see before. Very nice. I'm very happy to be here. It's very quiet. My shelter is there in the front of Kao, on the opposite of the island. Today I think I do the longest walk I have never done here in Tofua. I am at the exactly opposite side of the island of, of my shelter. And it took me already six, maybe six hours. Now I, I am on the way back and it's very nice to see how Fuck, chou. Le fait de voir l'île depuis de l'autre côté, c'est vrai que c'est très joli, c'est un panorama qui est vraiment différent. Oula. Comme ça, je peux me rendre compte un petit peu de toute la biodiversité de, de ce fur. Here, just on there, it's a very big hole covered. Uh, cover of wild uh, I don't know maybe it's an old volcano or I don't know but really impressive you don't want to you don't want to fall inside but it's very good looking very good looking c'est vraiment une longue marche là que je fais aujourd'hui je commence à en avoir plein les baskets je suis un peu fatigué go c'est go Each day, the island was full of surprises. From waving my machete around, I ended up cutting some strange vines. Yeah. It's coming. Yeah, for sure it takes a little bit more time than to drink water in our countries, but at least we have water and here we have time. And it's very good, it's a little bit sweet. When I go in the forest it's really important to have uh, this because the, there is not many coconut around and I need to drink. Sunday. I'm nearly ready to eat. So, so hot. Nearly ready to eat. Um, I did cook this morning uh, some fish I catch less yesterday. Um, fish with coconut milk I squeeze inside and it looks uh, really good. I'm re really happy to, to eat. Um, I start my, my third lighter yesterday. Um, I had a problem, I broke the, the second one very bad because I realized fire is so, so important here and um, I did a mistake. At the beginning when I came here I said no problem, I come here, second day, I make my fire, third or fourth day I have my fishing cage and fifth day I eat some fish, easy Xavier, no problem. And now I realize I was so much optimistic because uh, the two first months when I was here I could not see that it was so hard, as good as now, because I was in it. And now, if I look from backward a little bit, I realize it was so, so hard. Not physically. Physically, I, I, maybe I, I lose uh, 20 kilos or 15 kilos, but that's not the point. What, what, what was hard, it's... Um, in the head to leave all all I knew to leave my, my parents to leave my friends to leave my girlfriends to leave my family and to come in this place six days after 
which I didn't know anything about. I checked a little bit in Switzerland to find. I took few jokers to help me. Except those things, I did exactly what I what I said I wanted to do. Um, just come back to the nature and live from the nature, make a house from the nature, eat from the nature, and I was so happy I found this in the school. Because without this, it would be very, very hard. Now 200 days passed already, and I still have uh, 100 more days to do. But I think this this 100 days it won't be the hardest because the end is approaching. Then I see after 100 days it's finished, and uh, at the end, Skyl coming to pick me up, and you know. Many things in my head will be ready, the way back, and, um, and I know that I will, I, will, I will need to get ready to go back because it's not maybe very easy to go back. Many people will come to me and want to ask me questions maybe, and maybe I'm not ready because I come from 10 months of loneliness in a, on a desert island. Then, uh, but uh, 200 days already I'm here, 100 more days I am back. Now it's time for me to eat. Cheers. Since I'm in Tofu, I tree the first time I see this. Big wave crashing. It's very big wave. There is the place I go for fishing. And maybe today the waves are like 10 meters higher. It looks like the beginning of a storm or I don't know. Oh la la, big wave! It's really amazing. Seeing the storm coming in, I wondered if my hut was going to survive. The waterproof ability is one thing, but there were other issues to consider, like the roof flying away or a coconut tree falling on it. I had to get my solar panel out of there. The next morning, coming back to the same spot, there was nothing left. The ocean had taken everything away. In the evening, the wind had become even stronger, and by nightfall, my ordeal really began. The cracking noises were pretty scary, but the worst was when the wind turned. The rain hit me straight in the face. There was no place to hide anymore. I was so. Hi everybody! Now it's the morning starts to come again. Which is very good because most of the night I didn't sleep. Because uh, I could not see around me and I didn't know what happened but I, I could hear uh, many noise, thunderstorm, uh, thunder, lightning and everything. And, and uh, I slept a little bit, but every time I was falling asleep, uh, something wake me up again. And uh, yeah, very short night. Now I'm happy the day is coming again because I start to be able to see again what happened. It's important. New day, new day. I'm happy because my shelter is not out, it's not destroyed. This is the thing I used to clean in front of my house. And uh, I decided to do uh, two paths in front of my house. I know it's not very useful to do this path because every day I have to do it again. Because the, the leaves from the trees are falling down a lot and uh, I need to do it again. But then I have something else to do because sometimes the, the time here is, sometimes is very long then I don't know what to do. I also had to put my solar system back together. Apparently there is no mistake, it is fully charging. I was not sure that the adaptator was uh, working because of the, all the humidity uh, was with the storm. Maybe I thought it was, uh, it was broken but it still worked and it looks like it works good. But there were casualties from the storm anyway. At first sight, 
everything looked okay. The sugarcane had grown, as well as the onions and the taro. The watermelons, however, didn't make it. They were rotten. It was terrible. Everything was destroyed. I draw my affliction in the new artisanal project. I'm quite happy because now I have a, a bet. Sometimes it's hard here to get the motivation, but today I woke up and I said, yeah, cool, I'm going to do the bench. And now in the evening I have a bench. <laughs> I have my bench. I'm happy. Semi-devant, semi-devant. 